Hi, my name is Tamara, and you are watching Things Even a Monkey Should Know. Thanks so much for watching again today. As you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I'm not a professional at this do-it-yourself stuff. I'm just a girl who's figured out that there are a lot of things around the house and out in the yard and on my cars that I can do myself and save myself a lot of time and money, and hopefully now you too. So today, for fun or something, um, I am installing mirrored window film on a large sliding glass door that I have. My house is unique in that whenever you first come up to it, um, you actually come to the back door and I don't want people to come in that way and I also don't want them to be able to peer in and see all the stuff that's back there. So um, hopefully this will help direct people in the future to the correct door and give me a little more privacy. So let's get started. So the things that you're going to be needing today, obviously you're going to need your big lovely roll of uh, mirrored window film. Um, I could not buy mine locally. I'd be, you probably could if you live in a big city, um, but I ordered mine online. It's a 48 inch wide roll. My door is pretty big. Um, so just make sure that you measure before you order to make sure you get a wide enough piece. Um, you're going to be wanting to have a tape measure. A lot of this stuff is stuff you can probably going to have around the house. A Sharpie, preferably with a, a fine point on it. Um, you'll want to have a, one or two of these um, snap-off type knives. And, and the reason that you want the snap-off type is because this film dulls these points really quickly and you want to have a really good sharp point to cut this with. So um, this would be the preferred kind. And if all that you have is a regular blade, just make sure that you have extra blades so that you can change it out. You're going to want to have um, a squeegee. I actually have a big one and a really tiny baby one. Um, definitely want the big one. This one is really helpful for smoothing out the edges. You're going to be wanting to have some Windex or some kind of a window cleaner that uh, cuts through grease and fingerprints and gets all the dirt and junk off your window, along with a couple of microfiber towels because they'll pick up you know, any dust and debris. Um, you're going to want to have a sort of a water soap solution, um, which is you use, you know, I have a 24 ounce bottle th um, that I used and I just put about seven drops of uh, Dawn in it. Um, this is really important because it keeps your film from sticking to your window before you're ready for it. And uh, you know, in case you need to reposition it, which is something that's probably going to happen. Um, so this is really important. Uh, and Windex does not work for that. So don't do Windex. Do something with soap because soap gives it a little slippery, you know, a little slipperiness, so a little slide. Um, you may want to have some paper towels around just in case. Probably won't need them. You want to have a straight edge of some sort for when you're cutting. So I have this really nice long one. And I think that's it. So I think that we're ready to go measure and start cutting. So the first thing that we want to do is measure the space that we're going to be cutting the piece for. And you want to add um, a half inch on each side um, of what you're doing so that you have room to move your, I keep wanting to call it mylar because that's really what it looks like, but so you have room to move your window film around. So um, in this case, I, since it's a rectangular shape, all I have to do is just add an inch to each measurement. So um, I'm going to go ahead and measure up here. So that's 43 and three quarters. So that means that I'm going to measure out 44 and three quarters inch wide. And I'm pretty sure that this is exactly, whoops. It's 72 inches high. So we wanna do 44 and three quarter inches wide by 73 inches high. Now I'm not gonna lie, I do not have the ideal setup for doing this. Ideally you want a really clean area and you uh, want it to be <laughs> dust free. I've done my best, um, but you don't want anything getting stuck on your film, obviously. Um, but uh, so I actually had these pieces of foam and I, um, I took off their protective layers. So this is as clean as I'm gonna get in this space because I do wanna be working close to the door that I'm gonna be putting the film on um, because it is such a big piece that I don't wanna be running through my house with this sticky thing, you know, trying to get it into the right place. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind. Try to have a good, clean space to set up. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna roll out my film. 
And you don't want to get on it, of course, because um, it's uh, very wrinkleable. And you don't want to put wrinkles or pot marks in it. Um, and I'm pretty sure that it's actually already 73 inches. Actually, it's a little more, so um, I really, I'm, I'm not going to cut it because I really don't need to. Um, but I, or at least not lengthwise. But I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut it, uh, of course, widthwise. And again, you don't want it to be too overly uh, big, but you do wanna have enough that you can s scoot it around and then later you can always uh, trim it down. But this gives you room to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure everything out and then I'm gonna cut it. So the next step is to go ahead and clean this really, really well with your Windex or your other grease cutting uh, window cleaner. And uh, just clean, don't, don't only clean the glass, also go ahead and clean the area around it just in case your film happens to touch that so it doesn't pick up any dirt or debris from the ledge around the window. Okay, now that we have our window clean, it's time to give it a good coating of our sort of semi-soapy water. So again, this is not the window cleaner, this is that little mixture of soap that we made. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a really good uh, thick coating of this. It's almost like you can't get too much. So now would come the funnest part, which is actually getting um, the, the uh, sticky film, um, the mirror stuff that's gonna go on your door, uh, peeled away from the clear protective coating. And I would, didn't wanna make you guys sit and watch me pick at this because it would be a really frustrating thing to watch. But um, what the recommended way of doing it is to put a piece of tape on each side and pull it apart that way. Well, what I found is that that actually makes giant ugly wrinkles and crinkles in your film and uh, then it shows up on your window. So. Um, with a little bit of patience, you can use your box blade and you can just pick at the corner. And I actually timed myself and it took me three minutes. Three minutes of patience means a much better looking window film. So um, that would be my recommendation. So you wanna very carefully go ahead and separate the clear from the other. And this is gonna be really sticky. And so what you do at this point is you take, again, you, our soapy solution that we made, and you just go ahead and you wet down this really um, sticky adhesive stuff that you're now exposing. And it's uh, actually really great because it keeps it from picking up debris and it keeps it from driving you crazy while you're trying to get the film off. So now it's time for the most harrowing part, which is putting the film on the door. Again, let's see, my, my stuff that I sprayed on here has dried up a little bit, so you just wanna go back and uh, make sure that your door is still really wet or your window. Um, if you're doing something smaller, uh, it probably would still be wet. In my case, it is not <laughs> um, because it took me so long to do the film. You also want to uh, go ahead and again, make sure that your film is really well coated with this fluid. So it's good and slippery. And um, then we're going to go ahead and stick it on and then I'm going to squeegee it all. And you want to squeegee from the center, well, once you get it placed rather, you want to squeegee from the center out to push out all the air bubbles. And I have a really soft rubber squeegee. If you use something hard, um, just be sure to, to put a cloth or something over it so that it doesn't scratch your film. Um, so yeah, so let's just do this. So did you get all your squeegeeing done? 
be sure that you get all of the big air bubbles out of here because if you don't, whenever this thing dries or sets, then those air bubbles are there to stay. So you want to make sure they're all gone. The little ones, they'll come out on their own. It's just the big ones that you have to worry about. So if you've done that, then you are, like I am, you are ready to cut off your excess. And um, I'm going to keep my little squeegee with me so that I can... Uh, shove these things back into the corners because it is going to take it a little while to really set around the edges um, because the edges were pretty wet because that's where I was pushing all the liquid and the air out to, right? So um, I'm just going to do it and you want to be really careful because you don't want to cut off something you don't mean to. Now look how exciting is that? You can't see into my house anymore whenever you come up from the side, which is fantastic. And it looks pretty well done if I do say so myself. So I'm not gonna do the usual see how easy that was spiel because you did see that. Um, but I do wanna tell you why I chose to uh, do a, a segment on window film. Um, I've actually had that stuff for several weeks maybe months, and it's been sitting in there intimidating me because I knew that it was going to be a giant piece of this sticky, weird stuff that I was going to be having to work with, and I could just only imagine that it was going to come out looking really amateur and horrible. And it didn't, and it wasn't even that hard to do. It didn't take that long. Um, without the super speed-ups that I do for you, um, it probably took me 25 minutes, maybe half an hour, and, and that was a big pretty difficult window to do um, and by myself as you saw um, so it is possible uh, and it wasn't it wasn't bad um, if you had a second person it could actually be helpful um, one thing that I have read that is suggested that you do whenever you're peeling the film off is to stick uh, stick the backside or just a little bit of the you know the sticky part onto the window to hold it while you're peeling the film off. I didn't find that to be necessary. I actually found it a lot better to just leave it laying on the floor, as you saw, and slowly peel it, and spray it, and peel it and spray it. So um, I, hope, I hope that you saw that that really is not an intimidating job to do, and it gives you so much more privacy. And of course, it will block some sun rays, so it would be reflecting some heat back, which might cut down on energy costs a little bit. So it might not be a bad idea to do windows, particularly that face the sun or get the sunset like I would probably want to do all of my east windows which would be all of my windows which probably won't happen because I don't enjoy doing that film quite that much so um, thanks very much for tuning in today um, thank you to everybody who has already subscribed if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and do so there's a button right up there and it's real easy to press believe it or not um, so until next time, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you again soon.